Well, it's day 11 of the Olympics, and Shannon Fair is here to tell us some more about sports. I see that we've not, we, we as Americans, <laughs> won no medals in the speed skating. What's up with that? Yeah, I mean, we may not be winning the events that we thought we were supposed to win, but we're definitely not out. The Olympic story of the day has to be that of Stephen Holcomb. Holcomb piloted the two-man bobsled for the U.S. alongside his partner Steve Langton into a bronze medal yesterday in Sochi. This was the first U.S. two-man bobsled medal in 62 years. Now here's where it gets weird. Four years ago in Vancouver, Holcomb was piloting a four-man bobsled where he scored a gold medal for the U.S., also ending a 62-year non-winning streak in that event. Holcomb said, if anybody else has a 62-year drought you need to break, just let me know. The U.S. also won its first ever ice dance gold medal on Monday. Meryl Davis and Charlie White have been dancing together since 1997. They say they owe part of their win to their Russian counterparts, who placed third for always pushing them. And as if you could not love our Olympians enough, Gus Henworth is a U.S. freestyle skier, and after winning a silver medal, he went on to win the heart of four stray puppies. Sochi has a known extermination program to get rid of stray dogs, but it looks like they may have already found a new home. Kenworth says he is going to do everything that he can to bring the pups back with him to the U.S. And now for our medal count. The U.S. is currently tied with the Netherlands in total medals, closely followed by Russia. When broken down by most golds, Germany and Norway are out in the front, followed by a tie for third that includes the U.S. with six gold medals. And if you're keeping track of the medal counts by day, the U.S. is looking to become the first nation to win a medal on every day of the Winter Olympics. So far, so good on days 1 through 11. And now on to some Gamecock sports. The women's basketball team moved up to number four in the AP poll yesterday after defeating LSU on the road. That makes four Gamecock teams that are ranked within the top five. The equestrian team ranks number one for the 11th straight week in a row. Baseball has moved up from a 7 spot to a 5 after sweeping Bucknell this weekend and scoring a total of 41 runs. The baseball team is out there currently at Carolina Stadium playing against Presbyterian. Sophomore Curtis Britt started as pitcher. Being versatile on the mound is something Coach Holbrook says the Gamecocks excel at. That makes me feel pretty good. We've got a number of guys that we can go to after our starters hopefully get us to the 6th inning to help finish the game. The Gamecocks are currently 0-0 in the bottom of the sixth. And now we look to a high school senior who has signed a contract with the 76ers. His name is Kevin Groh, and he served as the basketball manager for Ben Salem's high school basketball team for the past four years. Groh, who has Down syndrome, got to play in his team's final two games where he astonished the crowd by showing off his skills. He scored a layup, three three-pointers, and a buzzer beater. This got the attention of the Philadelphia 76ers, who decided to sign him to a two-day contract. He will get his own locker, a custom jersey, and to participate in pregame warm-ups. Groh will be there tonight when his new team takes on the Cleveland Cavaliers at 7 p.m. Such a great story, guys. I mean, what they're doing for him. He did awesome. He got 12 points in one game. Yeah, I wouldn't want to face him on one-on-one. -on -one. Now he gets to be an NBA player better than <laughs> I can say I've done. Well, thank you, Shannon. After the break, we show you an unusual but adorable snuggling duo.